The latest example of a toxic algae bloom is in a large section of the Willamette River near downtown Portland. It's been in effect since Tuesday and warns people or their pets not to get in or drink the water. But the current system of testing for toxins is not that efficient or economical. It requires water samples be gathered, transported to labs, and run through a costly analysis. That's according to an Oregon State University researcher who says two years of study has developed a way to quickly test volatile organic compounds released as gases by algae blooms to determine toxicity and danger. We were successful in identifying a subset of this large number of chemicals that that were reliably present in certain combinations uh, when toxin was also present. So far focused on one body of water, Upper Klamath Lake in southern Oregon, known for annual toxic algae blooms. And when there's a sort of large amount of cyanobacteria, this particular type of algae, sometimes under unpredictable conditions, they will produce a lot of toxin. It is advanced microbiology for sure, but the hope is it can be used in the future to more quickly evaluate water in places like Detroit Lake, where cyanobacteria produced toxins in 2018 that made its way into Salem tap water. But if we can give them that information, give water managers that information ahead of time, then they can be more prepared to either uh, apply different treatments that they may use or or actually close waterways uh, to, to avoid um, uh, exposures by the public. And on the flip side, the same methods may be used to give the all clear when the water is once again safe. Tim Gordon, KGW News.